the, the biggest viral news of the week is our guy Jensen Carp uh, with his cinnamon toast. Have you even, did you even do you know this? Because you, yeah. you okay because you were no, in a coma for forty eight hours. So yeah. I don't know. If, well, you know. Though this happened Monday. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't know well, if you I were was, keeping up with it. Um, it's, it's 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 amazing. Jensen, I've been asleep for the last two days. Uh, yeah, are you are you tired? Like, are you gonna be able to go to sleep tonight? Are you gonna like? Get oh, I can go to sleep this right time. now. Yeah. <laughs> so so Monday, Jensen Carp, who is uh, he's been on KC Radio and part of my take. He's good friends with Roan. Um, he goes viral on Twitter because he found shrimp tails and rat shit in his cinnamon and, toast and crunch. String. It yeah, was, but, it, yeah, like he thought it was dental floss, but it, yeah, it was like it, that. just like it. It was like someone just used that box of cinnamon toast crunch as a trash. It's girl. garbage. Yeah, and it was like all right, we'll close throw it th- Yeah, a little <laughs> chef. He's cutting up. Throw the throw the, that in there. Let me floss that shrimp out. And throw that in there. There's a rat running there. Takes a shit. Uh, yeah, look at the string. Look at that. Wow. Um, so he, um, unfortunately, eats like a whole bowl first, and then he looks in the bag and he realizes like, wait a second. So this became, I mean, this was a, a viral, they should like write, like, like write a little Harvard business study about this one, the, the virality of this. The New York Times wrote about this. Really? Yes. Oh, like a, a full that. fucking Times article. And to, when I saw it, it actually wasn't that big yet. Because I, I follow Jensen. Yeah. Right. And it, like, it, it wasn't like. Well, two things it was, happened. It was, you know, it was. It was a, a, a well-liked tweet, but it wasn't yeah, it massive, wasn't massive, massive yet. Well, Two things happened. Like, the New York Times picked up on it and shit. T- uh, Jensen did uh, TMZ and all that. And then slowly the internet learned who Jensen was. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. wait a minute, this guy married, is married to Topanga. Wait a minute, this guy, like, is a rapper who has a song with Kanye West. Like, uh, I've said it before, Jensen Carp is the most interesting man in the world. Yeah. He has a what's story. The, what's the story he told us when Kanye owes him, like, $300? Kanye owes him $300. They, like, they were, like, hanging out, like, in the studio and um, he rented a car for he, Kanye. He, yeah, he sent he, him home in like a car service or rented a car for he him. He rented or a car that. because he, they had come in so many times and like the they were staying so late that the train was not running anymore right. in Chicago. Right. And, they, and he was going to rent like, him a car. Yeah, yeah. Because I think he had some plan to like sleep on the couch or some crazy way to get home. He's like, I'll get you. I'll rent you yeah. a car. <laughs> so yeah, he wrote a memoir called Kanye West owes me $300. He has songs with Kanye who produced the beat. He has songs featuring Redman and Maya and Fabulous. He has punchlines that are like every single one of his rhymes is a punchline that's like, oh, like layers to it where you got to be like, like the wordplay is unbelievable. He's got that like white guy rapper, like a little bit of a nasally voice. It's Eminem. It's just Eminem. Unfortunately, Eminem had burst on the scene like just before him. And Eminem, as we've come to know with Machine Gun Kelly and Jensen now, he his name was Hot Carl was his... Uh, <laughs> Was his uh, pseudonym like? But that's uh, that's when someone like takes shit on your chest or yeah. whatever. It's not the Cleveland Seamer, but no, I call yeah. it has something to do with shit. Yeah, it, it definitely has to do with yeah. shit. So he he just he did that as a joke. So his his whole story. Before we get back to the the shrimp tales, because I think this his story is just fascinating. You can go listen to our KFC radio about it. He called into a radio station and did like Battle of the Beats, and you would rap over the phone and battle another listener. And it was every Friday or something. And he won like 60 weeks in a row. He was on for like a year straight because nobody could beat him. And so he got a look from like Interscope Records. He made this album. At that point, Kanye, uh, at that point, Eminem was big and was like, you can't have another like white rapper. Like that's my lane. And just totally squashed like his whole career. And uh, he, so he since went on to become a writer and a comedian. He worked for Funny or Die. He writes scripts and all that shit. So he's doing fine. And he marries Topanga. Daniel Fischel from Boy Meets World, which is like everybody's crush. So he's doing he's doing all good, but it's just it's like this, you know, side this like whole un, untold underground rapper story. Um, but now I, I I DM'd him and I was like, isn't it like is it funny or is it like like let me ask you this, is it would it do you find it to be annoying or like is it a good thing that all of the work he's ever done, all the rap all the writing, marrying, you know, an iconic girl, all that shit. It's all out the window. He's now known as Shrimp Town. <laughs> the, amount, the amount of work he's done, the amount of times he's tried to go viral with funny shit, and probably did with Funny or Die. He probably has some massively viral shit. Not as viral as the time that he just I mean, unknowingly He has the one, ate. the Shia LaBeouf, right? The, yes. The Shia yeah, LaBeouf yeah, prank. yeah. Okay, so that was tough. That Shia, LaBeouf, <laughs> Shia LaBeouf doing one of his... Artsy things, and he pulled up like right next to him and did like a spoof just to fuck with yeah, him or whatever. 
Matt Dillon, Matt Bomber. I forget exactly yeah. who it was. Just totally like fucked it, with it him. It was Jerry O'Connell. Jerry, Jerry O'Connell. O'Connell. Yes, Jerry that's O'Connell. They just totally mocked him. Yeah. And went viral with that. And, and Shy was just like, what the fuck, man. Was just like, just like, like, earnestly just like, hey, just so you know, like, that was really rude. Yeah, like, that was like my <laughs> life's work. Yeah. Like, I poured my heart and soul into it. And you just completely made a mockery of it. <laughs> but all of that, all of those attempts to go viral pale in comparison to him just unknowingly eating shrimp tails in his. In his uh, cinnamon toast crunch, and he was like, "Yeah, I mean, what the fuck?" Yeah, he like sometimes forever. I think I said to him like, "What? Somebody just punched me in the dick." Like I'm gonna walk in tomorrow and just pow, punch me in the dick, and we'll go more viral than anything else we do that day. <laughs> Our names will get out there more than anything, you know. It's like jackass, I guess. Just yeah, like, I don't know. Just like smash me over the head with a fucking piece of glass. <laughs> Let's go viral. So anyway, the New York Times writes about it. My favorite thing, and the reason why I brought it up when you talked about the Sour Patch Kids is the interactions he had with Cinnamon Toast Crunch, uh, their social media accounts. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Which I said last night, and I stand by it. I, I don't. Yeah, this okay. Is, this is incorrect. I think it is. It's a good cereal. I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It is it's not the, the, no, yes it is. the no questions asked number one thing yes, that you like is. to act like it is. It's not. It is. It's good. It's well, a very good all, cereal. First of all, it just objectively is. I'll give it like a top if you're five talk, If you're talking about like what is the most... If you're talking about, you know, uh, the world's can, the consensus, number one, it is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It is. So you are I objectively will, it's, wrong. It's, it is 100% it, not the top selling cereal. I, I don't know about top selling because like old, you know, that's like, you know, Big Bang Theory, whatever. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Saying the most like popular amongst like people that matter, it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The demo <laughs> well, that matters. The most popular amongst people who have a Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> but like old people probably eating total. You know what I mean? You're gonna you're gonna skew with a lot of shit. I would I would say that there's a chance that something classic like Honey Nut Cheerios sneaks in the back door. I would door. say it's yeah. for sure it's Honey Nut Cheerios. But I think out of like the demo, let's say 18 to like 40 something. Is there an 18 to 40? Maybe 18 to 50. CTC is gonna be is gonna be the number one. Coley actually had a problem, like not too long ago. Coley is is king cereal, but he also has very like specific tastes. I said it's not a top five, right? You said you will give it top five. Yeah, uh, it is. It is number five. Yeah. So sales. Yes. Yeah. So it, it already kind of does have. So look at this. Okay, Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios. That's just like a one one A sort of thing. Frosted Flakes, which are better than Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and hu- Honey Bunch of Oats is trash. That's crazy. That says that. I, I like a hun- I, the, I like the, a bowl of Honey Bunch of Oats. The fact that Cinnamon Toast is, Crunch, Frosted Flakes is better. Cinnamon Toast Crunch being top five in sales on that list also proves like it's that's like if you have that's like being the number one artist. Like your your record's number one, but you're also like you didn't sell out to do it. You know what I mean? Like Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the cool cereal, but also still tops the list for just sales as well. It does it all. I, I it I, does I, it all. Here's the, I'll, I'll get the better Life, the, get the better the cereals on this here. list. Ready? One Frosted Flakes. No. Two uh, Frosted Mini Wheats. Nope. Three Raisin Bran. No. Yeah. No. Four. Special K red berries. Uh, Five. This, this is how you know John has no like Reese's okay. Puffs. You can just keep Six, talking. No one's Raisin listening. Raisin Bran Crunch. Literally no one's Seven listening. Seven Apple Jacks. Nobody cares. Nobody cares what you're saying. Those are once you those tell me, <laughs> sir, sir. <laughs> once you tell me that Special K red special berries. Special K red berries are the most underrated cereal on are the planet Earth right now. Then cinnamon toast. <laughs> Crunch. Yep. You have no credibility for anything anymore. <laughs> I will never value your opinion on anything ever again. Ever again. That's on you for ever valuing yeah, it. Yeah. But <laughs> it is raisin special K red Sir. berries. Have you never had them? Uh, of course I haven't had them. Who the fuck would waste their time having special, special K, K red, red berries when they can have cinnamon toast crunch? Let me tell you something. If you're not fucking listening right now, you want n- the number one YouTube comment is going to be. Best thing I learned on this show is that Special K Red Berries are fucking delicious. I have no problem if you want to tell me that Special K Red Berries is underrated. Not just... And it, like, because, like, look, I'm Mr. Cracklin' Oat Brand. I love Cracklin' Oat Brand. When I told people that, they're like, I, I never in a million years would have got this because it seems like old people cereal. And then they had it, and it's delicious. And I, and I you know, I proved my point. But that's, that's one thing. If you want to tell me it's underrated and good, I'll give it a whirl. To say that it's better than Cinnamon Soap Crunch, it, it makes me... Want to take an axe and chop off your head? <laughs> it's just such a preposterous thing to say. I, I mean, Special K Red Berries and Raisin Bran Crunch. Raisin Bran Crunch is li- fire. I, I like Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran fire. Crunch. That is super underrated because that's yeah. when you hear Bran and raisins. You think this is just for old people to try to ship, yep. 
and it is delicious. I, the only thing I will say is much like Lucky Charms with their marshmallow ratio, I think their um, raisin ratio is a little bit Could off. be some more raisins. Yeah. And, I, you, and you also, have you ever tried to add your own raisins? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Not sugar coated. And they're not like, there's certain things with cereal. Cereal is a funny thing, funny game. A little bit of staleness is like the yeah. key to cereal. So you put your own raisins in, they're almost soft and like uh, juicy, if you will. I don't want that. I want my sugar-coated, freeze-dried. Same thing with marshmallows. You ever thought about this? Marshmallows. Stay puffed, white, roast by the fire of marshmallows. Uh -huh. You get them in a bag. They're super soft and fluffy. And if those were to go stale and you took a bite, you'd be like, and it's like hard, you'd be like, ah, stale. Lucky Charms marshmallows start out freeze-dried crispy like they're stale. And you leave those out, they get soft. And then you're like, ah, this marshmallow is soft. Wow, I never thought about that because because I don't care for Lucky Charms. I know you said that I don't that before like the too. marshmallows. Well, I'd rather have just the bran, the oats, the, the, oats, the, the Lucky the Charms oats. oats yeah. I believe it is. Um, how about I want you to try my um, Rice Crispix Charms? Okay, it's Rice Krispies mixed with Crispix and uh, marshmallows. It's the best cereal on the planet. <laughs> it's the best cereal no one's talking about. It's amazing. The Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies are great. They're just so small. You're like the, you get like a thousand yeah. of those little puffs in one bit. And then you have the, some good, solid crunch from the Krispix. And then you put your own amount a la carte, however many marshmallows you want. You can do a couple. You can do a thousand. You can do none. Great cereal. Give it a try. Okay. Anywho, you're, you're we got way off track it. here. Yeah. <laughs> way off track here because Cinnamon Toast Crunch, their, their Twitter account, I think it's at uh, CTC Crunch, something like that. CTC Stupid something. Stupid name if that's what it is. Yeah, that can't be it because that would be redundant. Uh, told him to go to the local police department. What? Yes, I missed that. They said go to the police with the shark with the shrimp tails, which is without a doubt the most preposterous thing that one of those accounts has ever had to say. Let me get your exact wording. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he said, uh, "Dear Mr. Carp." Thank you for getting back to us. If you're unwilling to send, so they, they sent an uh, email first saying, send us the evidence. He said, why don't you just put all that in a box and send it to us? He's like, yeah, sure thing. So he said, okay, uh, thanks for getting back to us. If you're unwilling to send the items and cereal packages to us, please provide these items to your local law enforcement. They uh, may be product, this may be product tampering and we need to investigate the packaging. So let me just roll down to the local <laughs> precinct and be like, excuse me, I need some help here. And it's like, what is it? Let me let me take some time out from solving this fucking murder case. <laughs> uh, I found this in my cereal. So Jensen was like, yeah, go fuck yourselves. I'm not going to the police with this. They, I, I had that happen to me once. Verizon told me that. To go to the police? When I, lo I lost my phone probably in high school. And they're like, well, we need a police report. And I was like, I just, I have insurance. And I, I'm just telling you I lost my phone. Yeah. And they're like, why'd no, you go to the police though? I didn't go to the police, but they're, they're telling us I had to. Wait, who, who, sorry, who's telling Verizon you? was telling Verizon, me, yeah. Verizon. And they're like, they're, you need a police report for us to give you a new phone. <laughs> you absolutely do not. And I was just like, no, like, I yeah. don't. I'm not doing that. I, I was like 17 years old. I was like, I'm not going to the police. Yeah. I just, I just lost, I'm not saying anyone stole it. I'm just saying it's missing. Like, I lost yeah. my phone. Right. I have insurance. I pay like the monthly insurance, but is, whatever. But is that like, the, you know, they're like, for the insurance to kick in, it has to be theft instead I, of losing, losing I it? I guess. I never I did. You, I just bought a new phone. Yeah, because but. you know what? I feel like every time, I think, I think people would just be like, I lost it. I need a new one. I need a new one. I need a new one. Like, yeah. Let me upgrade. Let me upgrade. So they have, so they're, but that's, yeah, I'm not going to the fucking police. <laughs> police like, oh, just because okay. the police would be like, fuck, you, <laughs> yeah. I have to do this. I have to deal. I'm busy trying to solve cases with arsonists. 96% <laughs> of you motherfuckers watch these videos and aren't subscribed. Shout out to the 4%. You are good people. 4% of people are watching I our clips. I think that's about, about what the, I, I would guess, the breakdown of good people demographics versus bad people. in the world. Yeah. Good people versus bad people. Probably about 96% to 4. That's but fair. But be a good person. But it's not even, I'm not even asking you to be a good person. I'm asking you to push a button. Yeah, but, but, I'm asking you to click a button. Yeah you, yeah, you can be a bad person still, but just click you the button. You can be a piece of shit. <laughs> just click subscribe. 96% of you watch these clips and they're like, oh my God, that was a funny clip from this podcast. I liked it. And I'm just not going to help them out. The people who work to make it, the people who work to produce it, to post it, to upload it, and there's nothing from you. You're a bad person if you don't subscribe. Be a good one.